Hey guys, welcome back to Diecast Reviews. So this is a review on Jason Roadkey, who appeared in the Road Rumblers episode of Cars on the Road. Obviously, he was one of the uh, Road Rumblers uh, gang members, or you know whatever you want to call it. But he, he was part of that team, um, and yeah, obviously went to war, I guess, with the electric vehicles, and they all made up in the end. But a very nice release from Mattel, indeed. I really do like the Road Rumblers cars; they're quite unique. Got a lot of fancy, uh, well, not fancy, but, you know, a lot of cool stuff all over them. So, really cool to get uh, get them. So, yeah, Jason Roadkey here. Obviously, one of the cars released, supposed to be released over the summer, um, kind of June, July. That's when he first kind of started appearing in Australia and stuff. A little bit later, uh, arrival into the United States, but he is here. So, there he is. There's a nice, I really do like that card art. Really, I do like the expression. really do like the card art. New for 2024. There is Jason. There's some other cars on the back of the package. Not that interesting, to be honest. A lot of these were released early on in 2024. All of these actually released early on in 2024. He was released last year. We released early 2024. So not really that interesting, but there you go. There's the back. T12A. So, I mean, that's how early he was manufactured. 12th week. Uh, if we can see T10A, he was actually, the car was made in T12. The car, Jason himself, was made T10A. So, 10th week of 2024, that's what, early March. And he really never made it to the U.S. until late August, early September. So, quite unfortunate. But, um, that's just, I, I don't know, I don't know. Mattel had an American distribution problem. I mean, Canada, Australia, Europe getting their stuff in okay, but America kind of lagging behind. Uh, catching up a little bit now, though. But, um, yeah, that's enough of talking. Let's get Jason Roadkey here out of the package. So here is Jason Roadkey out of the package, and he does look very nice. He does have a nice matte finish, too. I really do like that most of the uh, Road Rumble cars do have a matte finish. I think Chief, this is the one exception um, currently. But anyways, let's get right into the review. So, I don't... I like the expression on the card a lot more than I like it on the actual diecast here. He just kind of looks lost almost. He's got like a annoyed, tired, uh, not caring look on his face. I don't know. It just, it just... I don't really like the expression here. I really do like the expression on the card. Like I said, shows a lot of character in my opinion. This one just does not. Uh, but I do like the detail on the teeth. You know, he's got missing teeth here and there. Uh, I do like that. But the expression as a whole, not a fan. Take a look at the uh, hood here. You've got what I mean appears to be kind of like a missing piece here, so you kind of see the carburetor or whatever. Um, obviously, nice detail, all the grim and dust and dirt. I do like the smokestacks here? They look pretty cool. Or, there's a there's a better name for these things that are on the hood specifically. I don't know what they are, but they're kind of like mini smokestacks. But there's definitely a, a different name for them. I just don't know what it is. Go to the side here. I really do like the uh, rims here as well. The orange color there. They look very nice. Got obviously a wooden board here. Kind of plastered up along the side. With what appears to be some kind of detail. I think it's just more dirt and grime detail there. Really nice. Yeah, really nice detail all around. He's obviously got a bunch of dents all over the place as well. Um, obviously in very poor condition. But Mattel has done a nice job. Uh, kind of making that, I mean, making that look real, I guess, in the die cast. You kind of look at it from the side here. You can see he's got a bunch of dents, imperfect, along the uh, the side there. Which, you know, Mattel, I give, I'll give them the credit. They do a good job on the road rumblers. And, and really, you know, the demo derby cars, all that making them, you know, have dents and appear beaten and all that. So, a lot of wear and tear, I guess, is the right word. Uh, his rear wheels are slightly different than his front wheels here. You can see that the front wheels are smooth all around, whereas the rear wheels, um, I don't know what they're called, like off-road wheels, I guess. They kind of look like off-road wheels. Obviously, the rims are different as well. Um, I think that's realistic to the show. I mean, looking at the car, it kind of looks like, you know, what it has on the die cast here. So, but that is interesting. There you can see the rear rims, rear wheels, you can see... How they're different there. See nothing. No, no. More dirt and stuff on the back here. Go to the back. He's got 
kind of a spoiler, spoiler like. I mean, you know, looking at him here, it kind of looks like he was a muscle car back in the day, uh, and then he joined this group and became like this. But you know, he appears to have been a muscle car back when he was a functioning member of our society. But yeah, you got a spoiler there. Go to the back here. Uh, I mean, this appears to be where his taillights would have been. Obviously not there anymore. More dirt and stuff, more dents. I mean, you kind of look at his, uh, this part here, the deck lid. Got a lot of dents and stuff. Pretty cool. Some wooden planks are over his rear, 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 rear window there. More stuff here on the side. Another wooden board, wooden plank along the door. I mean, you know, obviously put a wooden plank there so you can't open and close the door, but if they never open or close the doors in the first place, it seems kind of pointless, but, you know, whatever. Uh, we're not getting into the whole what's inside uh, theory and debate here tonight. Got more detail there. I mean, it, it's just really nice to see all the dents and all the, uh, you know, the, all the beatings that he's presumably taken uh, in the forest. You know, obviously got a lot of you know, rocks and stuff when he's driving around, obviously gonna have a lot of dents and, and, and scratches and all that. So it's really nice to see him at all. Um, you know, not just make it a pristine car or whatever. It's really nice to see all the dents and all the detail. Uh, nice grime and dirt uh, detail as well, but really all the, uh, when you when you run your fingers across, you can tell that he's, you know, he's been out there, been through some stuff. Cause you got, it's, it's you know, just a lot of sharp, bed, not sharp, edges, but you know, a lot of dents and stuff that, um, you know, make it feel realistic. So, you know, you run your finger, or when you run your hand across this car and then across, um, like McQueen back there, I have a GRC McQueen back there. You run across McQueen, you know, you can tell that this guy's been been through some stuff. And I should talk about the uh, big kind of thing that he's got on his head here. I'm not really sure what this is, but it looks pretty cool. It's kind of got a similar orange color to his rims. So presumably this is, these are supposed to be aligned in some way back when he got them, they're supposed to be he salvaged them from the same, I don't know what, but um, so, uh, assume, uh, presumably they're from the same thing. But yeah, um, it's kind of like, it's actually, usually they make these things like a soft plastic. This is kind of hard, actually, especially this one here. But yeah, there you go. Some orange uh, sticks on his head. Not really sure what they are. Um, but yeah, some nice detail on there as well. Now, you might have been looking at Jason and been thinking that uh, he, he looks mighty similar to some other cars we've seen in the past. He is he is basically a repaint of Fishdale here, a demo derby car from Cars 3. Now, this is the China version of Fishdale, but I don't know if, I don't actually know if Dallas released one. But uh, regardless, we'll, uh, I'll show you the comparison here and you'll see how they are. No, basically, they are basically the same. First of all, looking at the front there, I mean, you can see that the I mean, even down to the detailing of where he's got the, uh, well, like, bars uh, over his lights. I mean, it's the exact same placement, right? You've got the uh, grill there. I mean, just look at the dents and stuff there. Identical, right? So you look at the uh, hood, the carburetor popping out, the smokestacks or whatever here on the side. Go to the side, you've got the window bars, uh, window plank, not window, wood planks in the same area. You do have some window planks there, but wood planks there in the same area. Now, one difference that you have here, obviously, Fishtail, the rear tires are much larger than the front tires. Jason here has got, the tires are basically the same size. There are different tires, but they're the same size, whereas here you can see Fishtail, obviously. Very large tires, smaller tires, and obviously he's got this thing, it's kind of curved upwards. In the back here, whereas Jason has it all, all in one piece, I guess. This isn't that damaged. But, I mean, you can imagine that if this was lowered back down to the same level as the rest of him, he basically is Jason. You can see the spoiler uh, looks very similar. Um, or not very similar, it's basically the same. Take a look here. In the window uh, bars, again, with planks over the window there. So, I was praising Jason for all his dents, but, um, you know, Fishtail has the same exact dents in the same exact spot. So, really, Mattel's done this before. It's not their first rodeo at it, but 
Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not really Mattel's fault. It's Pixar who animated Jason to basically be Fishtail without the Ray, Ray Ren here. I, I'm not sure how Mattel went about um, making this this uh, casting, if they just copied Fishtail and just kind of lowered the back, or if they had to completely remake the casting. Maybe a bit of... Uh, Kind of took some some of Fishtail's uh, details here and then kind of redid the back. I'm not really sure how that works. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's basically Fishtail, uh, especially kind of in front of the rear window. Here. Kind of from here, from here to here, it's Fishtail here. Uh, see, a uh, slight difference because it's in the rear end is slightly different. But, you know, it is it is Fishtail, and that's not Mattel's fault. That is Disney's kind of fault. I mean, in Cars and Road is full of reskins. Um, Jason just so happens to be one of them. Um, but Mattel did a nice job. I guess, I guess I'll give them credit for the fishtail dents, because the, the dents seem to be identical from fishtail to Jason. So, I'll give them credit for the fishtail dents, for making the dents on fishtail look very, re feel real, real, realistic, and transferring that over to Jason here. So, regardless, though, though I'm not going to complain. It's a really nice release. It looks really cool. Um, and, and, you know, when you run your hand over, like I said, it feels like it's a car that's been out there, been in the wild, and been through some, some stuff. Um, uh, the one complaint I will make, the eye insert here kind of doesn't fit the rest of the, the car. Um, doesn't look the worst. It's, there's definitely been worse eye inserts, but this one just, I don't know, the, the gray here in the ground doesn't match up with the, the rest of it. But I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, I will put up pictures of Jason right there, actually. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to complain too much. It's a really cool release. Um, we'll see how it stacks up against a lot of the other releases uh, that are hopefully coming here at the end of the year. Um, when I do my kind of top five releases at the end of the year, we'll see if this one makes it on there. Right now, currently, it, it is definitely in the top five. We haven't had that many releases, and this is certainly one of the best ones we've had this year. Um, if not the best one we've had so far this year, of course, there's some that could sneak into this, uh, into the top five. But right now, it's definitely solidly one of the best, if not the best release of 2024, currently, of the ones that I've reviewed, of course. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm not going to complain too much about it being a similar, the same model, basically, as Fishtail. There is some, of course, slight differences. It's not an exact repaint, and again, that's more on Disney than on Mattel. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Have you picked up Jason yet? Have you found him? If you have, what do you think? Um, yeah, like I said, really cool release. Really do like the road rumblers. Um, and I hope they keep them coming. I mean, there's a lot of stuff there they could do. Of course, they're doing some of it. Uh, but there's a lot more. And they have really... They've they've gone sort of into the electric cars. Obviously, you've gotten a release in a two-pack. But there's a lot of stuff they could do there. A lot of stuff they could still do on the uh, other side as well. On the road rumbler side. So... Like I said, really do like these releases and Jason here. Very, very cool. I mean, I mean, yeah, he's a, he's he's a he's a very very nice release. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of Jason Roadkey down in the comment section below. This will be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.